Esports Stories presents the story of Dodo What the Fuck. More than likely, you came across the YouTube channel Dodo What the Fuck, as it is considered an inherent part of the Dota 2 community these days. If you have ever wondered who is behind the channel and how it has developed since its beginning, this is the full story. Martin Espiros and Eduardo Gutierrez, better known under their nicknames Martius and Darwin, from Donostia, San Sebastian, Spain, never thought that they would become one of the most admired and beloved content creators for Dota 2. We started this YouTube channel out of a whim, and today it is our full-time job. Both Martin and Eduardo were born and raised in Donostia, San Sebastian, a city in the mountainous Basque country in the north of Spain. They met at the age of just three, as they both attended the same preschool, known in Spain as Educación Infantil. Martin and Eduardo quickly became best friends and spent countless hours together. The Sega Mega Drive console was one of their first gaming experiences, as they played games such as The Lion King and Mortal Kombat. Over the years, they also discovered games like Legend of Zelda and the various Mario games on the Nintendo 64. From there, they started to play their first computer game, Age of Empires. Instead of playing football during breaks at school, Martin and Eduardo sat down together and drew labyrinths and dungeons with their own stories and gameplay. It was our big dream to create our very own video game once we grew up. However, at the age of 12, Martin and Eduardo's ways separated. Martin, on the one hand, was living a secluded life as he played hours and hours of World of Warcraft. Eduardo, on the other hand, was more into social activities, like hanging out with friends. Martin became a complete fanatic about the game, and his attendance at school started to become more infrequent. He often tricked his parents with bogus ailments and phantom illnesses in order to convince them to let him stay at home. I was probably the guy with the worst attendance in the whole class. Nevertheless, Martin finished his school education, known in Spain as the Bachillerato, and began to study at the University of the Basque Country. He studied 3D and 2D game development, but soon realized that his interests shifted more into the area of philosophy, and so changed his subject to that discipline after one year. At that time, Eduardo had started to study at the University of Navarra, which is located in Pamplona, and chose the history of art as his study. In mid-2012, as fate dictated, Eduardo and Martin met again and revived their friendship. They started to spend countless hours together, but this time they played Dota 2, which was in the public beta phase at that time. The basement of Martin's parents' house was transformed into the gaming cave for Martin, Eduardo, and their friends, and it was here that they played Dota 2 all night long. It was at that point that Eduardo shared his obsession about YouTube with Martin. He wanted to start something on YouTube, but he did not have a concept in his mind. However, on the 31st of January 2013, Eduardo created a YouTube channel called Darduin My Menlin. Not long after, on the 3rd of February 2013, Eduardo uploaded the first video onto the channel called Dota 2 Courier Style How to Win Every Game in Dota 2. The video explained a trick or you could also call it a bug, on how to block multiple waves of creeps. You had to buy 10 couriers, place them like a wall at the T2 tower, and after 10 to 15 minutes, you would release the huge creep wave that had been blocked due to the couriers. Consequently, all five players push the lane with the creep wave, and you should be able to win the game very easily with lots of laughs guaranteed. Only two days after releasing the video, the bug was fixed, and no one could ever try it again. Today, you won't find the video on their channel, as Eduardo used a song from The Lord of the Rings, and they decided to take it down due to copyright issues. A couple of days later, on the 14th of February, 2013, the second video was released. It was called A Parody About Noobs. Eduardo showed the different types of noobs that exist in Dota 2, like the passive noob, the over-anxious noob, the fearless noob who walks alone into four enemies, and many more. On the 20th of February, 2013, the third video was released, and Martin had his debut on the channel. 
He played the song of the video, the main theme of Toy Story, on the piano, while Eduardo joked about various plays of absolute Dota 2 newbies. From that video on, Martin and Eduardo decided to not only work together on the channel, but also share the ownership to equal parts, as they got really motivated to have something they were both passionate about. It was not a video game we developed, as we used to dream when we were kids, but we had our own YouTube channel, and it felt kind of similar. Martin and Eduardo decided to dedicate their channel solely to Dota, and so, they renamed the channel to Dota What the Fuck. Just one day after the change, they decided to remove the D, as they thought Dota What the Fuck was easier to pronounce. Initially, the channel was meant to be in Spanish, as Eduardo and Martin had found two different formats, which seemed to be working fine within the Spanish speaking community. The first one was called Guías en Uno Minuto. The videos contained funny guides about the different Dota 2 heroes. The second format was called El Otra Combo. Eduardo and Martin picked two heroes with a lot of synergies and tried to destroy the enemy lane as hard as possible. However, on the 25th of May, 2013, the two guys decided to launch a new format called Dota 2 What the Fuck Moments. They took two clips from funny moments that happened to Martin while playing Dota 2, and with much effort, edited them and accompanied the video with humorous music. The feedback for this video was overwhelming, and it had 800 views within the first 24 hours. That was almost double the views that earlier videos had received. Martin and Eduardo also noticed that a lot of comments below the video were in English, and that they might be able to reach a much bigger audience with this format. But, at this point, they still wanted to meet the demands of their Spanish-speaking community and continued to create Spanish guides, gameplays, and a couple of El Otro Combo episodes. At this very early stage of the channel, Martin and Eduardo had one of their best moments with the channel, as they remember. It may sound funny, but at the time, when we were around 3K subs, we had that one day where we gained like 80 subscribers. We were writing on WhatsApp and Steam. Hey Martin, another one. And five minutes later, hey Eduardo, another two subs. On the 16th of September, 2013, the channel reached its first milestone of 10,000 subscribers, which was celebrated with a 10K subscriber special. Only two months later, the channel had doubled their subscribers, and Martin and Eduardo created a funny video about the whole Dota 2 community begging Valve to give Dire Tide. 14 days later than the previous year, Valve finally added Dire Tide to the game together with Earth Spirit, Ember Spirit, and a new model for Storm Spirit. Exactly one year after Eduardo created the channel, it had 34,200 subscribers, and Martin and Eduardo decided to focus on making more Dota What the Fuck moments, as the videos had many more views than any of the others, and the community was craving for more content. The pair also decided to quit their studies, as they saw an opportunity with their channel, and they wanted to devote all their time to this project. So, in the first quarter of 2014, the Spanish duo created 15 episodes of the admired Dota 2 What the Fuck Moments, and they were able to hit 60,000 subscribers by the end of March 2014. Shortly afterward, in May 2014, the last episode of the format Guías en Uno Minuto, featuring Meepo, was published as the Dota What the Fuck Moments had become too time-consuming to edit and pick out suitable clips. From this point onward, the channel regularly attracted 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers every single day, and during mid-May 2014, Dota What The Fuck reached their big milestone of 100,000 subscribers. At the beginning of July 2014, the channel had 50 episodes of the Dota 2 What The Fuck moments online, and the videos reached around 90,000 views within the first 24 hours. It was simply awesome. We found a way to earn our daily bread by doing something we love, and that our viewers enjoy to the maximum. The International 2014 also started at that time, and Martin and Eduardo really got into the professional Dota esports scene and closely followed every major tournament. They then decided to make highlight videos about the TI games and published seven videos within 10 days. The series was quite a success, even though it did not have a great impact on the subscriber count.
Towards the end of 2014, the channel had almost reached the 500,000 subscriber mark when Martin and Eduardo decided to release a new format called Dota 2 What the Fuck Rampage Compilation. The 24-minute-long video showed some of the most unusual, funniest, and weirdest rampages you have ever seen combined with hilarious editing. Despite the length, it is now the second most popular video on the channel and is therefore proved to be a format which can keep up with the Dota 2 what the fuck moments. On the 13th of February 2015, the 100th episode of the Dota 2 what the fuck moments was released. By this time, a video would reach around 200,000 views within the first 24 hours. Only 36 episodes later, on the 3rd of September 2015, the channel leaped over the magic hurdle of 1 million subscribers. Martin and Eduardo celebrated this big break with a 1 million special, which was one of the usual Dota 2 what the fuck moments, along with a 3 minute long clip showing Martin and Eduardo celebrating on the streets of San Sebastian and rocking a nightclub with a pudge and a juggernaut face mask. We did not care a single bit what other people think of us. Without any feelings of shame, we danced, jumped, and screamed in front of people who looked at us like we were crazy. Shortly afterward, on the 8th of October 2015, Eduardo and Martin added another format to the channel called Dota 2 Daily What the Fuck, as they thought the one week break between every Dota 2 What the Fuck moments was too long. Martin told us about the series. The daily title has always been tricky. A more accurate name would have been Moment of the Day, as we never intended to post them on a daily basis. 2015 ended with the 155th episode of the Dota 2 What the Fuck Moments. And on the 26th of October, the channel celebrated their 200th episode. At this point, a video would reach around 900,000 views within the first 24 hours. The growth of the channel in 2016 was enormous, and on busy days, they could gain between 5,000 and 7,000 subscribers. So, it was not much of a surprise when the channel reached 2 million subscribers in early December 2016. Martin and Eduardo worked 945 days for their first million subscribers, in contrast to only 463 days for their second million. With their 2 million video special, they wanted to thank their community and give something back. Martin and Eduardo decided to give away not only 25 Arcana sets, but also 25 terrains. Today, the channel has passed the 250th episode of the Dota 2 What the Fuck Moments and currently has 2.5 million subscribers. Every day, Martin and Eduardo get between 200 to 400 submissions of clips via their website, dotawhatthefuck.com. It's a bit overwhelming sometimes. Mostly, people do not add a detailed description about the funny moment, and we have to watch the whole clip, but we try to watch every single submission. The two even started to hire friends to support them by watching all the submissions. As it had become a never-ending task and Martin and Eduardo wanted to focus on editing the episodes. Nowadays, a Dota 2 What the Fuck Moments episode gets over 1 million views within the first 24 hours, and the whole channel gets a minimum of 20 million views per month. These statistics give Dota What the Fuck a rank within the top 1,500 YouTube channels in the world regarding subscribers and video views. What do you think about the YouTube channel Dota What the Fuck and their story? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time on Esports Stories.